Okay, the next piece of the concept development phase is to do some proof of concept prototyping. So we've done low fidelity prototyping. We learned a lot about those ideas. We converged upon one of them that we wanted to go forward with. Now we want to create a prototype that's really refined enough to show all of the aspects of the design. So it doesn't have to use final materials or have perfect aesthetics. You don't need to have every detail pinned down. But all of the major components, if it's a mechanical system, you should have all of the mechanisms you're going to use represented well in their final format. If you're using software, you want to at least have the function, the bare bones function of what you're doing in play. But you don't necessarily need to worry about all of the details of the user interface or things like that at this point. So you don't want to spend an inordinate amount of time but you want to get to something that really works so that you can show your user exactly how it would function and get feedback from them on usability. Um, your aim here is really to get that green light from your stakeholders. So you want them to say, yes, you're doing what we want. Keep going forward with this and produce a final version of this for delivery. If you don't get that green light or if you feel like there are major shortcomings when you show them this prototype, that's even you want to iterate and go back to the brainstorming phase Think about what are things we needed to change and then go forward again, okay? You may even, after building your proof of concept prototype, realize that the concept is not feasible and have to go way back um, into even your user need phase again if you really missed the mark on what your user needed. But this is the opportunity to know that without spending all of the time it would take to build a really nice final prototype. So here's a good example from the ISBVI magnifier team. This proof of concept prototype, they have this XY table that they were wanting that's based on some drawer slides so it can move around. They have arms made of aluminum, which was not the final material that they were going to use, with the, all of the hinges in place that they wanted. And they have a rough prototype of the iPad stand itself with the camera attachment here. So you can see this has all of the features that you would need in a magnifier stand for an iPad built in and they can really put it in front of a user and they got excellent feedback from this. So there were some shortcomings, but there were some strong suits of it as well. And so by getting this in front of their user, they were really able to vet the idea fully. So to recap, your proof of concept prototype demonstrates the final feasibility for your proposed solution. So we're really looking at saying, yes, this basic idea can work as we've said it could. Prototype doesn't have to include every detail or use the final materials or be of really perfect quality like a deliverable should be, but it really should demonstrate all the major functions. So all those major interfaces should work, all of the major things that need to happen are able to happen so that you can really go forward with confidence that your design will work. And these prototypes are a great way to get real user feedback on your design and find all the shortcomings that you didn't predict. So now it's your turn. What I want you to do is to write a short paragraph describing how your team could approach making that functional prototype without committing heavy resources like a lot of time or a lot of cost. So this is more than your low fidelity prototype. You're really trying to prove the concept or the feasibility of what you're doing, but you don't want to spend all the time that it took to build a final deliverable. So think about how you go about doing that on your team and then reflect on how the suggestions you came up with in that first paragraph match or contrast with the work that your team has done so far and try and think about how you could do a better job in the future.